what's good in the hood YouTube. I don't know why I always look high as hell. Um, I woke up today around 7.30. Been waking up around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, as you guys know, my schedule was kind of upside down uh, recently. I kind of switched that up a little bit. Um, not really by choice, but it switched up and uh, I'm kind of liking it, you know. Being awake when most people are awake, at least in my country, um, it helps out for when you got to contact people to do some work and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, woke up, got some work done. Um, very productive morning. It's about 10.30 now, and um, I have an appointment at 11.30 at my uh, periodontist, which is my gum surgery doctor, um, or gum surgery dentist, I'm not sure how you say it. But anyway, he's gonna check my gums to see how they're doing. Um, so I wanna make a quick breakfast right now, and then head out. Uh, he's been checking my gums ever since um, he did the surgery, so as you guys know, um, if you saw in the other video, I, I had gum surgery a few months back where they just took uh, tissue from the both sides of the roof of my mouth and then just basically implanted it on top of my gums down here so I wouldn't have as much recession. So he just checks it every month to see if there is recession. So far, every checkup has been good. He's done like maybe three checkups so far. This is the first checkup where it's not every month. Now it's only every three months. So I'm not, I'm not sure how often he's going to keep doing that, but I got to go in. Hopefully, you know, everything's going well as planned. Um, Kelsey, uh, my girlfriend is a uh, registered dental assistant, RDA um, is what most people call them, I guess, but she gave me these whitening trays um, in order to kind of bleach my, te bleach my teeth and make them white. So uh, I'm hoping that I get the clearance from this uh, gum surgery doctor that, it, you know, that that bleach isn't going to have any effect on the gum recession or, you know, I don't know, any kind of negative effect. I don't know anything about teeth or, um, you know, things to watch out for. So I'm going to ask him if I can use it. Then I'd be stuck to uh, whiten my teeth a little bit. They're always, I had braces. They've been straight, but I've always wanted to kind of whiten them. So that'd be kind of cool if that works. Let me know if you guys have experience with bleaching your teeth um, and getting them whitened below and if it worked and if it was worth it. Um, anyway, I'm going to make a, uh, some, some food. I just wanted to vlog a little bit for you guys. Um, figured why not. I got this camera and um, makes it easy now. So, uh, yeah, let's see what I eat and uh, I'll touch base with you guys either then or before or after my uh, appointment. And then right after the appointment, I'm just going to go to the gym, get that done with, and uh, get an upper body session in. So we'll see if I put that in this video or in another. Um, anyway, see you guys soon. Peace. Hey, yo, just left the uh, Tron. 600cc bike just passed by, distracted me. Um, just left the periodontist office. He said everything's looking good, which is a good sign. That might have been my last checkup, actually, the way he was talking about it. Um, turns out I have a little bit of an extra, uh, a little bit of extra tissue that's kind of like flapping around down here a little bit, but it's like barely noticeable. So he was gonna numb me and do it, but he's like, eh, you don't really need it if you don't, if you don't want it. So I said, nah, I'm cool, bruh. And uh, we're not gonna do that until. Uh, down the road, I'm going to have to get gum grafting done up here on both sides of my upper mouth um, because I have recession there too. So that's going to be a procedure, but I got to wait till I have insurance to do that. Um, and then I'll probably get all that done at the same time, like do this little fixing on the bottom that I still need. Anyway, um, what I made for food was amazing. It was a, uh, I couldn't record it cause I was kind of in a rush guys, but it was just a basic quesadilla. Um, that's been, that's, that's, all, that's always my go-to is quesadillas. Um, basically a tortilla, cheddar cheese. And what I do is I, I kind of, um, mass cook like ground turkey and i've been doing that lately and it's really really useful because you can do that with anything you can eat ground turkey with rice uh you can put them in quesadillas put them in burritos um you know it, it's just so versatile you can even eat it alone you know with veggies whatever you want so um baked beans is always a good combo uh, there's just a bunch of things but anyway uh, it was just a quesadilla and i put ground turkey in there and it was amazing so i recommend you guys trying that maybe i'll show you guys in a video but it's pretty self-explanatory um now I'm gonna go hit the gym. I just wanted to share with you guys the uh, experience that I had here at the periodontist. Um, I'm gonna try to film my workout. Like I said, I'm not sure if um, I'm going to be able to, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this video or in another video. The reason I might not be able to is because I'm not working out with my partner today. I work out with a guy named Armando, really cool dude. I met him at my gym a while back, and uh, we've been working out ever since, no homo, no homer Simpson. Uh, anyway, this year, guys, um, it's January. I want to start it off strong. I set a few goals for myself, some more specific and some uh, more general. The more general ones are um, 
not that they're less meaningful to me, but um, they just apply to more things. So um, an example of this is, and don't come, at me, don't come at me with New Year's resolutions are cheesy, you know, New Year, New Me. Yeah, if you just say those things, they're cheesy, but if you actually set goals, um, they're nothing but good. Um, I don't care if they come in the New Year, um, February, March, April, whatever month you decide. But, uh, you know, I was ready to set some for the New Year, and one of my goals this year is less talking, less uh, planning, less... Um, speculating whatever you want to call it less basically less talking more walking taking action pulling triggers not literally but figuratively you know um, I, I just got to trust myself in a lot of the things I do um, I can't be so nitpicky because I'm a perfectionist I can't be so uptight on little things and uh, hold myself back from my potential you know so uh, I'm just pulling triggers um, you know and, and it applies to anything you know uploading this video boom pulling a trigger um, going to the gym, boom, getting it done, you know what I mean, versus like, oh, I'm going to have to do this, I'm slacking, I can't make it to the gym, just go, you know what I mean, um, so whatever it is, that's kind of what I'm applying that to, um, and it seems to be working very well for me so far, um, I'm already able to help a lot more people at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of this year than I was at the beginning of last year, um, you know, I launched that coaching site, coachyuck.com, and it's going very well, you guys are supporting, and it's, it's amazing, um, so I want to thank you guys for that, but it, it's, it, everything's allowed me to help you guys more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, and it's because of the triggers that I'm pulling, you know, and that's my ultimate goal is I want to help out as many people as possible. So whether it's motivating you to post a video, whether it's motivating you to go to the gym, whether it's motivating you to help people in one way or another, um, I hope this message gets across that way. Cause that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I want this be year, I want this year to be a big year and I know it's going to be so anyway, that being said, I'm rambling. I'm going to go to the gym. Um, and get a meal afterwards. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat, but I have a lot more work to do today because this week's going to be busy. Um, tomorrow, I got a haircut appointment, and my, my barber is like 30 minutes away from me, and um, I go to him because I've been going to him forever, and uh, he really takes good care of me. It's Urban Cuts in the East Bay in uh, Pleasant Hill, California, in case you guys are wondering. Um, Chris is the owner of it, and he's the guy who cuts my hair. I'm proud of him. I've been going to him ever since he was a student barber, and now he owns his own shop, so... Uh, I'm gonna go there cut my hair shorter than I ever have so I'll probably see if I can show you guys footage on that And then uh, the next day after that we're going to a warrior game uh, My girlfriend Kelsey and I are going to a warrior game We're going to Warriors versus Lakers and it's gonna be an amazing historical night because it's gonna be the very last time that Kobe Bryant's gonna play in Oakland in the Bay Area so because he's retiring this year I'm a huge basketball fan guys. I don't really share that too much. Um, I have been for a long time um, I want to say maybe 15 years a little over 15 years um, so it's gonna be a fun time hopefully I can maybe get some footage on that too um, if not that's just what's going on this week and then this weekend is gonna be um, some more fun so I'm trying to get some footage for you guys all right uh, and less acting less uh, talking less speculating less planning more doing just pull triggers guys trust yourselves and pull triggers um, that's how you get stuff done check my Instagram I've been posting about stuff like this lately too all right peace before the haircut. I know you guys are mine. After. Shorter than I ever have cut my hair, to be honest. But, uh, I'm happy with it. Gotta go rinse it off, take a shower, but just wanted to show you guys. Alright, peace. Urban Cuts, Concord, California.